Hi, Douglas Jonas here at the New York Stock Exchange, and I'm joined by two gentlemen. First, Frank Holmes, both CEO and CIO of U.S. Global, and of course our friend Tom Lydon, CEO of ETF Trends, joining us and celebrating launch of a new ETF. It's all about gold today. Go but, gold. <laughs> but, but I'm going to start with you, Frank, and ask you a question. Before today and before ETFs, tell us how is it people historically have invested in gold? It was always physical. It was a physical commodity and it was also a currency. And what's remarkable is that it's the fourth most liquid asset class in the world. It functions both as money and as jewelry. And so that's changed obviously over the years, right? The exchanges have come along, they've produced different ways that investors can get into or out of gold and made it a little bit easier. Can you help us understand some of that evolution? Well, the big breakthrough was in the futures market. In particular, this is this where you would hedge currency risk. And the big evolution really for the retail person was the GLD. The creation of the GLD ETF was phenomenal that that retail person didn't have to go to a go down a, a, a street like Fifth Avenue and look for a gold jewelry. It's right there. They bought it. So now, Tom, that's a great segue into the world of exchange-traded funds, or ETFs. Yeah, help us understand maybe first what is an exchange-traded fund and then how they help us invest in gold. Yeah, it's, it's a mutual fund, but just a new wrapper. Most are indexed. Some are now intelligent indexed, like Go Gold. But there's so many choices today, over 2,000 ETFs today, representing over $3 trillion. And it's all about choice. As Frank said, 20 years ago, you had to buy coins or gold bars or futures. Not that easy for the average investor. But today, just being able to buy a ticker symbol that represents either gold itself or in the case of gold, gold miners, there's now that much more opportunity and choice. Yeah, and, and I think that's a perfect example. So, you know, again, there are various choices. And historically, gold as an ETF has been pretty popular, uh, you know, a, a, as a, an investment vehicle. But we're doing something different. Right? And today and the launch this week was about something different. So, Frank, help us understand it is, what it is that U.S. Global is doing different in this space of gold investing. Well, the, the, the two types of uh, gold ETFs that are out there, one is for the bullion and the other one are gold stocks. And they just take all the gold stocks that are producers and have an aggregation based on market caps. What we've come up with with GoAU is something that's intelligent and rational, and it's like a forest, but we've taken out all the weeds. So we're really focused on the best performing gold stocks based on a quantitative approach going back decades. Okay, and so you, you put that into the ETF wrapper. So, Tom, may, maybe help uh, the investors at home understand when we say an ETF wrapper, what's going on behind the scenes? How is it physically traded on the stock exchange? Yeah, absolutely. So you picture an index like the S&P 500, and you've got this basket of stocks that, in fact, with one ticker symbol, you can buy that whole basket. And, for example, you've got the most ETFs that are listed here at the New York Stock Exchange. It now accounts for almost 35% of your overall volume. Can be some days, yeah, absolutely. And, and sometimes more. So it's amazing with the adoption of ETFs, and most importantly, the choice, the low cost, the tax efficiency, and most of all, the, the ability to diversify clients' portfolios today. We've had made great, great headway for the average investor, and most importantly, the clients that for the next 10 or 20 years are going to have that many more investment options. Yeah, and I want to stay on that for a moment because yeah. obviously as CEO of ETF Trends, your focus is the advisor, the registered investment advisor, the financial advisor. They're using ETFs more and more. Why is that? What, what's the draw? Why are they coming uh, to the ETF you know, uh, investment vehicle? Well, many advisors have been in the space for a long period of time invested in mutual funds. There's still $15 trillion in mutual funds. But actively managed mutual funds, as we know, have underperformed. They tend to be a little bit expensive. With ETFs, you really have a benchmark. So if you can't beat the market, you can actually buy the market. And then to take it a step further, we have the intelligent indexes, like what we're talking about today, where you can not just do the traditional index, but actually through factors, you can actually crank it up a little bit more to maybe have less volatility and actually have some greater performance at the same time. So now, Frank, U.S. Global clearly watching some of the trends, offering business across various ways of asset management for ultimately your clients. W what's drawing you to the ETF in in investment? Why are you thinking, hey, well, let's take this gold strategy and put it in an ETF wrapper? Because the active mutual funds are being Uberized. Uh, and it's a choice that people would prefer to go to an ETF. 
and that's what we've seen. But we've always advocated a 10% weighting and rebalance each year because gold stocks have twice the volatility of bullion. So if gold's up 10%, then the gold stocks will be up 20% and vice versa on the down. So this idea of 10% is really prudent. And one thing that I noticed that is also different about uh, GOAU is the weighting methodology. Could you share a little bit about that? It's not just a traditional market cap weighted product. Absolutely. You know, the significance of gold royalty companies and a company like Franco Nevada. Franco Nevada has revenue of $17 million per employee and they have the royalties that are on Barrick and Newmont where the revenue is only $300,000 per employee. So they have this massive margin. So we think they're just a great product. So we have 30% of the portfolio are royalty companies which have less volatility in cash flow and earnings than the Newmonts, the Barricks, the Freeports, etc. So Frank, you rang the closing bell here at the New York Stock Exchange. How did that feel? Oh, it was outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> and with my friends, it's even better. You know, it, it's, a, it's, it's, it's an energy, and it's so, uh, it, I don't know how to explain to you, but it just goes from my toes right up to my nose. It's, <laughs> well, it's fantastic. Heard it direct from Frank Holmes. Well, thank you, everyone, for taking the time here today. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, for being with me here to talk a little bit more about gold today, live at the New York Stock Exchange.